Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, happy Monday. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. So, I wanted to show you what the van looks like as soon as I get in here after Planet Fitness. This is probably not what you're going to see <laughs> on most van dweller videos, but I kind of wanted to show you where I hang stuff and where the van's at uh, when it's at its worst or almost worst. So when I first come in, there's the passenger seat. I keep it swiveled around. I come in the side door and I drop my shower bag there. I hang it on the door right there. See that black bag with a green bottle in it right next to my pee jug. I hang it there so it can drip because there's still some water coming out of that mesh bag. And I hang my gym bag there and my towel there. And uh, when I go into the gym, all I'm wearing is this hoodie if it's cold. If not, it's just a t-shirt and then that pair of shorts laying on top of that blue tub there. Just the hoodie and the shorts and my shower shoes is what I go in with. And uh, so that way I can go straight to the shower. And I just stand right outside the shower, shawl, uh, shower stall now and just uh, unrobe and jump in there. I used to go through all the ordeal of going to the locker and back and forth across the, the men's locker room and all that stuff. But now I just go straight to the shower because I wear nothing but the hoodie and those shorts and shower shoes. Jump in the shower when I jump out grab the towel, towel off, walk across the aisle to the dressing room, dry off, and put those clothes back on until I get to the van and then I dress. It's because it, the, the Planet Fitness I go to, and there it is, you can see it right there. This place is a madhouse. This place is very crowded. This is my home base. Now, I have the black card, so I can go to any one, but the next one, the next closest one's about 12 miles away. And I don't want to fight traffic when this one is way so convenient. So, uh, once I get in here and get dressed, then I throw my dirty clothes in that blue tub there. It seals up nice and tight, so no dirty clothes odors leaks out into the van. And then, you know, I just grab my clothes. I keep socks and underwear in those two baskets above the foot of the bed. I keep t-shirts in this dresser here. I keep khaki pants and casual pants in that cabinet. And I keep jeans here and that's my junk drawer. And this up here is my blackout curtain and some jogging pants. And that's my sink. And um, I keep a lot of clothes under the bed, too. And there's my privacy panels that I just stick up right there. My battery bank is right under there. You can see the gray battery through the... Uh, that's just a, a clothes basket. I just turned it upside down and cut a hole in the back of it so it'll keep things from falling on the battery terminals. That's all that's for. But in this throw rug, um, they had them on sale for like 8 bucks. My other one was a mess, and I decided not to even try to clean it. I just chunked it, and then put this one down, and I have an exercise mat under it, so it's nice and padded for my knees. And uh, I wanted to show you another little trick I do, is these little dryer sheets. Right there, they're great to uh, throw into your dirty clothes hamper. Because even though that seals up nice and tight, it's... You know, it's it's a closed space, you know, and I don't want to smell dirty clothes, so I never have with the system I've gotten in place. And behind that red curtain is my bathroom. I have tons of stuff behind here. Check this out. So I've got shaving cream, hairbrush, Q-tips, razors, toothbrush, all this stuff, wet wipes, uh, hair trimmer, scissors, all that in one vertical aisle. And I just close it up, stick a little magnet here, and that hides it away. Keeps things nice and tidy. 
So I'm thinking about going to Walmart this afternoon and uh, getting another one of these comforters. Um, I think I can do away with all those other heavy blankets if I just had two comforters. And it would dress the place up a little bit too and get rid of those old army blankets and that old micro fleece stuff. Um, it's not a good material. It, it holds a lot of static electricity. And I had a problem with this blanket. There's something up with that fabric. I woke up the other morning and I had condensation. You can see where I've removed my reflectics here. It used to go all the way down to the floor. And right in this area here, it was damp. I mean, it was tons of condensation right where my feet were. My feet were very warm under all those blankets. And it just drew it in because of the temperature difference between inside and outside. So I ended up cutting that reflectix out because I stack up the blankets so heavy there, I really don't need it. I'll figure out what to do with that later. And there's my little cup I use right there when I brush my teeth. Um, that's where I, I you sometimes I brush my teeth just standing outside in the parking lot or the street or where I'm at. And I get some interesting looks doing that, but it's a lot more convenient so I don't have to clean my sink out every time. And this fan dries the towel out pretty quickly. And what else was I going to show you? Let me get back over here in the driver's seat so I can pan out. So yeah, that's the setup. That's where I keep all my stuff. And I got food in this top container here on top of the filing cabinet. Just snack stuff. I got some popcorn in there and some crackers and some peanut butter and just snack food. You know, just in case I get caught out somewhere in the evening and want a, want a little snack, I don't have to go find a, a grocery store or anything. But it's non-perishable items in there. And it's just Velcro to the top of the uh, the filing cabinet. But yeah, I placed uh, my strategically placed cup holders, and they're just uh, taped to the side. I just picked them up at Dollar Tree, dollar a piece, and they hold lots of different size cups. So this is the van when it's in a mess. So I thought I would show you what you're in for if you're going to do this lifestyle. It's uh, not always pretty. And I've always got stuff hanging up. Um, it's just, uh, I can take them down and fold them away if I want to make a pretty photograph. But 90% of the time, this is what it looks like in here. Gym bag hanging up to dry. Towel hanging up to dry. Uh, shower bag. That's the greatest little shower bag. I got it on Amazon. It's made of mesh so the water just runs right through. Keep my soap, shaving stuff, shampoo, toothbrush. I keep another toothbrush and toothpaste in there. Um, because sometimes I do that stuff in the shower. Some, I shave in the shower a lot too. Um, like just now. Just shaved in the shower. Just left. And I've uh, tried to got a got to find a better place to put those uh, privacy panels they're black on one side and reflectix on the other and I just stick them up in the uh, in the driver and passenger windows and this uh, this window here gets the the square one so yeah there's my home away from home there's my bathroom right there Planet Fitness my personal bathroom <laughs> I want to make another video uh, later tomorrow, um, and I'm just going to talk about the ink, the inconvenient part of van life. You know, not being able to just to get up off your couch and go to your bathroom, and you know things like that that you're going to need to be aware of. That this lifestyle is not not always convenient. Sometimes it's very inconvenient. Sometimes it's very difficult. And time consuming so just be aware of that but um yeah that's what I wanted to talk about today guys um, the next video is going to be my one month in the van video so uh, look forward to that one uh, probably tomorrow so hit the alert bell and take care of yourself 
and be well, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye.